Uh, the twitchiness, like there, there hasn't been like it would kind of be a couple of days where it felt good, and then it was like, oh, I had a sore day or something like that. Now it's been, you know, stacking consistently um, high intensity um, reps, and I, f I feel like I'm building on each one. It's not necessarily two steps forward, one step back. Um, so having a, having a fun camp. When uh, before you got hurt and you got the seven sacks a couple of years ago, mm -hmm. is there one thing that you would say that was working for you that you weren't able to do last year? Or I mean, do you, do you have something in your head you're thinking, okay, this is what I why I was having that success? Um, I think I think it was dividends from all the all the work that I had invested. Um, and I think that year I kind of cashed out on it. Um, and it's, it's just being able to stay consistent in your work and not working for results. And I feel like last year, um, my own personal battle was not, uh, you know, reaching for anything or forcing anything. Um, I think you can have whatever you want in this life. You just can't get in the way of somebody else getting it. And Marcus was hot. So it was, it was I'm going to do whatever I can. I'm going to do my job. And Marcus, Marcus is the one eating right now. Just continue to work, continue to put it in. Um, I'm hoping to cash out a little bit this year. Uh, for a guy who really loves and appreciates the part of special team, mm. uh, how, how will you feel if they take you, scale you back from some of that because you might have a way bigger role with the regular mm -hmm. defense? Um, it, it depends on which phase. I, I'm not sure there's many guys in the league that like going out on kickoff return, especially front line. You got those fast guys bobbing and weaving, and then most of them can put a thump on you too. Um, but but kickoff and punt are kind of – they're kind of the defensive special teams where you get to tackle and hit people and get up to full speed. Those I might feel some type of way if I lose that. When you go back to your first camp here and your approach to making the team, how much mm -hmm. do you carry that approach with you still? Now? Mm -hmm. um, a, a lot of it remains the same, but there, there's a reason I'm in year five now. And, and, and I think approaching it the same way could be almost detrimental. Being able to get my sleep and everything has been really important. That rookie year, you're just trying to take in as much information as you can. Um, now it's it's being efficient with my work and making the most out of everything that I do have. Um, so I feel like a, a more controlled, focused effort this year, whereas when I was a rookie, it was everything has to be balls to the wall. Um, and the retention was not quite as, as high as um, I feel like it is now. Can you talk to any of the other rookies here trying to make the team and, and kind of explain to them your approach? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, it, it's not really my place to tell people how to do it because everybody kind of has their own style, own brand of football. Um, but being able to share tips and tricks that, hey, this is this is what helped me or this is what's helped another guy that's kind of in your similar role. Um, I think um, situational awareness is kind of key for those rookie guys and understanding um, kind of what what information to take in and what information to block out. Yes, you, uh, you guys have this team has had a lot of things happen nationally that's gotten attention uh, that aren't necessarily football things and aren't necessarily directly impacting players. But I am curious, like, how does that ever get in the locker room? Do you guys even talk about it, or is it just not? Yeah, we, we got one focus right now, and that, that's getting better, getting ready for week one of the season. Um, so being able to stay locked in and, and do it. There's so much going on in camp that we don't, we don't have time. There's a couple third-round picks this year the team drafted that are mm -hmm. You know, buying for maybe one of your spots. Um, what are you seeing from them? Uh, how much mm -hmm. do you help them, even though you don't want them to take your job? Uh, I don't think that's the right approach at all. Um, I think I think it's about the game of football, and you want the the best product being out on the field, um, and taking your ego aside of things. You want to. I, I feel like when you start to get into that, uh, I'm gonna not give this information you know it it always comes back to you so being able to share whatever you can is huge um Maje is a freak athlete that, that's so explosive off the ball and can can get to that point of attack so quickly he can cover he can do a lot of amazing things um so that's that's someone that's kind of in the same skill set as me um he's got a lot more length than me obviously um but i i think there are things that me and him can work on he's helped me a bunch too um 
he, he's got some pretty special moves, is trying to pick up a couple of them. Um, and then Cam is also in our room, just a big dude that's going to be able to overpower people on the edge. Um, and he, he's coming along, uh, smart dude. I'm excited to see them. How much have they leaned on you for advice or anything like that? Um, here and there, they're, they're incredibly smart rookies. So they're figuring out, picking it up and it's just kind of tips and tricks along the way. Um, just, just kind of help them where I can. It's not like either one of them is a project that they, it's, it's all hands on deck or anything like that. What do you think about your knee and the explosion right now? And how much, how improved is it as even compared to the end of last season? Yeah, I'm not thinking about my knees anymore. So, um, I think that shows the, the improvement right there, just being able to go out there and play football. Um, it's not, hey, I need to do some range of motion or I need to do this or that or make sure my hips are activated so that my knee doesn't get sore. It's just um, you know, focusing on football, um, not what I need to do to feel comfortable playing football.